Hello, my name is Mr Murphy, I'm the Director of Sixth Form at Settle College and I welcome you to this virtual open evening uh, presentation today. On the link that you will see uh, attached to this clip is a very good website um, showing you um, the, the pathway that you can uh, follow uh, regarding the A-levels and your choices. If you, if you go to YouTube and chat this channel um, and type in which university and what A-levels, you will see some really good information about supporting the choices that your son or daughter uh, may be making regarding what A-levels work best for them. So, as I said, Settle College, um, we are a sixth form, we are 11 to 18 school, and we have a very unique selling point. Um, we have excellent success with students um, at Settle College. Many of them go on to the Russell Group Universities and many of them um, we, we put through the process of applying for university at Cambridge and Oxford and we've had success with students over the past few years. And what we tend to do with the students is get to know them really well and use our network of uh, support whether that is people that we have within school who can help them with their applications or external people who are very kindly give their time to read through personal statements to support them with the interview process. So our unique selling point is very much the fact that we are a small school. We have small class sizes. Uh, every student therefore is known and every student in the sixth form um, we get to know, we get to understand and get to know what their uh, aspirations are. We have a range of facilitating subjects um, that you would expect to see at most sixth form colleges. We also have a range of vocational courses as well in business, IT and engineering and these are very popular also. Um, we offer three A-levels to all students and in some cases some students will start with four A-levels. Our results are above national average and have been for the past few years now. And we also are very proud of our collaboration with other schools. So I mentioned support with university applications, but also collaboration with subjects um, that we, we can run in partnership with other schools as well. So the list here just shows you all the types of courses that you will see in the prospectus that is available on the website. If you want some prospectus, please get in touch with myself as well and I will uh, be able to send one through to you in the post. Well, these are the subjects that we offer, a mixture of vocational and a mixture of traditional A-levels. We have on there as well the extended project, which is called the EPQ, which is an offer that we give to students to take as well with half an A-level. But you'll see, as I said, most of the A-levels that can get you to that position you want to uh, get to in, in life. So what grades do you need? So if you're following an academic pathway, um, so you take three A-levels for example, you're, you're pretty much looking for five GCSE grades, um, nine to five, including English and Maths, plus entry criteria for each subject. And again, in the prospectus it will tell you what are the entry requirements for that particular subject. There may be a mixed pathway you want to follow, so rather than take three or four A-levels, you may want to take two A-levels plus a Cambridge Technical Vocational Qualification which can sit alongside it as well. And again, five GCSEs, grades 9 to 5 is what we're looking for with your English and Maths as well. The final pathway is what we call a Vocational Pathway. Um, two CTECs, there you take uh, Cambridge Technicals and, and work experience alongside that as well. Entry requirements for this is four GCSEs, grades 9 to 5. So, your pathway really will look something like this. You'll start with three or four A-levels in year 12. And in year 13, you may reduce that content down to three. Um, you may also take on an EPQ as well. Some of you may uh, also um, look at taking uh, an AS qualification at the end of it as well. So you've got some form of uh, points that you can use as well. The, the, the mixed pathway could be to Cambridge Technicals, as I said, of A-level subject as a third one, and you carry that forward into, into year 13. 
and the vocational pathway to Cambridge Technicals uh, with a work experience option with it as well. You may also retake your GCSE Maths and English in November if your grade is below a 4. In year 13 you just carry on with Cambridge Technical. You could if you wanted to pick up a, uh, an AS subject as well, um, but also the work experience in the second year. So as I said, in the prospectus this is where all the uh, requirements are for each subject. Take a very close look at that, talk to the subject leaders about that, because in certain subjects you know, it is important to have a grade 6, for example, in English language um, or mathematics, um, you may need a grade 6 for the science subjects as well. The timetable itself for a sixth former tends to sort of look like this. So this is the first subject they're doing. This is a weekly uh, timetable. So you've got geography, then your maths, uh, and the business studies as your, um, your three subjects, with sports as a fourth. This person studying four. Um, we have a, product, um, a personal development lesson as well, which we uh, use to work on our EPQ and also support students with their UCAS application. Enrichment on a Wednesday afternoon is an option as well where students can play sports or do something that they want to do on their own time. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a Wednesday period 5, it could be any time during their non-contact time. So in the non-contact time they may be looking to work in the library and they may give us two periods a week um, where they're on the timetable, designated time, whether in the library. Students tend to work more, more than two periods a week. And then in the mornings, tutor time is an opportunity to work with a tutor and to do various activities like message giving, um, talking about um, quizzes we have, uh, mentoring, and also looking at assemblies which are focusing on what, what currently is happening in the world, but also key events that we like to talk about. PSHE is also, like main school, is a subject we have uh, on a Tuesday. And again, so we follow a, a curriculum that's very much aimed at sixth formers um, and then the experiences they'll be going through in the next few years. COVID-19 has obviously had a big impact on schools in the last two years. And remote learning has become a part of students' life really, unfortunately, it still exists and unfortunately sometimes students do have to self-isolate. But in cases of where they are still able to work, we have developed a, a very successful a Teams platform that allows um, students to have a mixture of pre-recorded and live lessons, uh, but also they can have access to support materials as well. So Teams very much a developed package over the last two years. One of the things again about the, the pandemic has been the, the, the lack of activities that we've been able to undertake. So what I'm showing you here is the things that we've done in the past and there are things in the pipeline that we hope to bring um, forward in the next few months as, as we start to unlock a little bit more. But obviously um, trips that we've had, Berlin um, and I 